Hey good people, Lisa Shire from Politics and Fashion. Uh, I'm here today because I got a bone to pick with you. I do, I do. Um, I thought we were friends, gang gang. Yet, some sort of way, I missed the memo that Tory Burch is showing out. Did you know this? Did you know? I feel like you knew and you didn't tell me. It's all right, sis. I am not going to blame you we are going to move forward. But see, what I'm not gonna do is hoard this knowledge because y'all, I stumbled in Tory Burch last week and I kid you not, it had me shook. Both what was in the store and what is currently online. Now, if you were a big fan of Sister Tory, you're probably saying duh to Shara. If you are not a fan or if you just haven't really paid to bring a lot of attention like me, then trust me, y'all, this is no cap. You want to keep watching this video because it is about to surprise you. I'm talking about shift your wig, sis, okay? So if you love style, self-care, and social justice, this is the place that you want to be. Go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up if you love it, of course. Subscribe to my channel and let's get straight to it. Before I jump into it, you all see I am wearing silver earrings today. I'm not with high fever. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I know that this is very different for me if you are not new around these parts. But we also all know that the Bottega dupes specifically, they have been making their rounds, okay? We are gonna be wearing them at the Black Girl Family Reunion. Like we've made these earrings a thing. And you all were so kindly to tell me that they had great dupes at Amazon and that's where these came from, okay? So I'll make sure that I have them linked down below. This is my first time wearing them. You may hear a little bit of clanking because of my other piercings, but what I can say is that they're not heavy whatsoever. I'll have these linked as well as the dress that I'm wearing today because this was actually featured in my uh, Summer Trends video. Now, about Mother Tori. She's that girl. She really is, in all sincerity. Uh, I like to give a bit of brain history when I do these types of videos. So let me just say that Tori Burch was listed in 2020 as one of the top 100 women in business. She started her namesake label in 2004. It was a boutique in the Nolita district in New York. And since that time, she has over 350 stores worldwide. Now, let me just say that we live in uh, a cancel culture. Okay, so before I get drug, I have to also point out that uh, despite her incredible business acumen, she also has not escaped controversy. And so there have been a few pieces according to the World Wide Web, I've not seen these myself, uh, that actually harken back to certain indigenous cultures that the brand has not given sufficient credit to. And so hopefully she has a more diverse, inclusive and equ equitable team down there at the headquarters that can give her better advisement so that she is able to create unique, chic, and amazing designs at price points that I really consider to be affordable luxury. And from my understanding, that is within the brand's DNA that Tory Burch really wants to find a way to give you like Gucci, Saint Laurent, Chanel quality, but to do so for the everyday woman so that it feels like it's a bit of a splurge, but it's not out of reach. With that said, uh, let me just say that I have not always known much about the brand outside of maybe one or two iconic pieces. And I mentioned this in my quiet luxury video that unfortunately, we the people will take one thing and make that what a brand is known for. And if you don't like that one thing, you think you don't like the label. And the example I'll give in uh, Tory Burch is those Reba flats. I'll pop them up here. Cause y'all have seen these before. And in the DC Metro, I worked in public policy about a block away from the White House. Also worked in nonprofits, legal services. And you could not escape these shoes. On the Metro, at Starbucks, at Pret getting a sandwich. They were everywhere. In meetings at the White House. Meetings at the Trap House. Why does everybody have these shoes? 
And for me, I'm personally biased because I happen to think round-toed flats look best in patent leather with a pair of white socks with frills on them worn with your Easter dress under the age of 10 years old. I cannot see it for a round-toed flat. I just, I, I, I cannot, I cannot. I don't, it is, I'm, I'm, there's not a lot of things, this video was getting out of hand. There's not a lot of things that for me I take umbrage with in people's personal styles or their personal tastes. Two of them will burn my biscuits. One ranch salad dressing, don't ask me why. I, I find it personally offensive. And number two is, is round-toed flats. I cannot stand them, I abhor them. And so to see grown women wearing what I see as a church shoe, as an Easter Sunday shoe, I could never understand it. And I just thought to myself, I don't like the brand. I don't see it for Tory Burch. I cannot see it. Only, only to slowly start to just take some time to get into their classic pieces, the Eleanor bag, which I'll mention in just a moment, and other pieces, comparing some of their bags, for example, to very known, well-known luxury houses and their bags, and seeing how the Tory bag can hold its weight beside it. I said, wait a minute, we might be on to something. And so last week, I went to Saks at Tyson's Galleria to return something. And just to kind of kill time before lunch, I wandered into Tory Burch and I was shook. I kid you not. I would not get on the internet and lie. It's too close to Sunday. I walked in there. First of all, the customer service was absolutely impeccable. Shout out to the very, very nice woman who helped me last week at Tyson's Gallery. If you're in the area, stop by. Um, they even sent me a handwritten note afterwards. They poured me a glass of champagne and we just kikied and talked and went through the entire collection, what they had in store, what they didn't have in store, they're ready to wear, all the things. And immediately I gravitated to this pair of shoes. They didn't have them in my size. However, I was able to pick them up. Now, TikTok has already seen them, or was it YouTube shorts? Somebody has seen them and it wasn't you. Okay, if you're watching this video, you're late. So make sure you are consuming my content all across the interwebs. Now's your time to follow politics and fashion. Uh, and let me show y'all these shoes. I'm going to go through some of my Tory Burch faves throughout this video, but we are going to start with this pair that I got in the mail. Okay, um, talking about luxury here, affordable luxury, we did get a dust bag in the box. It's only one, but that's okay. One will do the trick. Um, and y'all know that I shared with you all, uh, metallics are trending. Silver is trending, of course. And I've never purchased something so quickly in store until I saw these. What is really going to just knock the wind out of your body, girl. Go somewhere and get you a oxygen tank expeditiously. Is this. That's a thumbnail. <laughs> Come on, man. Tori, the unmitigated gall you have. They are so comfortable. Get into this heel, friend. The front logo or medallion has kind of this raised texture to it. It has a gold outline around it. And as you can see, it's the mix match for me. This. Now, before someone says it, yes, they do remind me of the Jock Moose clutch. I saw that clutch before it was even available for purchase. How I missed the drop, I don't know, okay? Maybe one day I have it, maybe I don't. I don't know. But all I can say is that clutch also has a square and a circle. And you all have already said in the comments of the YouTube short that they would just eat that bag up. And I completely agree. Either way, what I love and put one down is the idea that we are mixing metals. And again, the heel is a sensible height. It's not a kitten heel, but it's also not a stiletto. 
and it's also rectangular on the bottom. I got these in a size 11. I did want a little bit of room. And I mean, there's nothing that I would not wear these shoes with. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to go to a conference. We have a kickoff event tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'm actually not. <laughs> I'm so petty, girl. <laughs> they ain't even gonna see it coming. Oh, girl. Oh. Doing the most. You live on this planet one time. You hear what I'm saying? Where the thing sits and Tori got them. So that is the first pair that I will link down below. These were, I believe, about $350. I will put the name and the price on the screen. Um, for this type of shoe, y'all already know, I am someone who shops everywhere from Goodwill to Target to Marshalls to Saks. You all already know the quality, the color, the design. This shoe could very easily right now be at any major design house and would be three times that price. And that is what I mean by Tory Burch showing out. Let's get into shoe number two. We're gonna stay with this kind of curved heel construction. I did not see these in the boutique, so I have not held them, but I have them on my wish list for sure because I've never seen anything like it. Do you see this? Now, the kind of weaving and how it comes up the shaft of your foot, I could definitely see Bottega doing something kind of akin to this, but it is the color for me. Oh, it's delicious. It's not quite a Kelly green. It's kind of more of a lime, it seems. I mean, I would love to see these on because I would love to know how high they go up your leg or your ankle. Um, I think the front of them is so good, how it has that dip down and it has the slits on the side. So you are showing foot. You're not completely covered like it's a kind of like a boot. It is a true sandal. It also comes in a very pretty beige color, but overall it is this green for me. And again, if I was on the street, if I was any place and someone told me these were by Tory Burch, I would not believe them. At $428, I think these are an amazing, amazing pair of shoes. They're art. Now let's go to a pair of shoes that are not heels. If heels are not for you, then you cannot deny these. I mean, they are the classic kind of remake of the Birkenstock or the uh, kind of everyday dad sandal that Chanel brought on the luxury scene probably about five years ago or so, maybe less. Since that time, everyone has kind of this silhouette in their repertoire. However, I think for a lower priced brand, this is probably the best pair. And I say that because I tried them on at the boutique. They did not have them in black. They had them in this new woven color, which wasn't for me, but they were like, try them on for size. Try them on. These, in my opinion, run a bit big. So I, I tried these on in a size 10 and they were a perfect fit for me. Girl, the softness. You know how, how Lil Wayne was like, his, his leather's so soft. The softness of the leather. They did not cut any corners. They did not miss a beat. This is a shoe that you could wear all day long, like hitting city streets, frolicking through the countryside. It doesn't matter. I am getting these shoes for sure for my next long vacation because they are a classic black leather. The leather has a small sheen to it, so they look well made. And then you have the gold accents. I love gold. You just can't go wrong. Plus, I'm I mean, this kind of chunky silhouette is really trending right now and you don't have to always wear it casually, which I love. Uh, the white and the black are also, I'm not mad at those. The white and the black are also good. I'm not mad at those, but it's just something about the classic black that I love as well. So if you're thinking about the Chanel slide or the Prada version or the whoever, whoever version, Trust me, sis, do yourself a favor, go down to Tory Burch and try these on first. Now, there are pieces, of course, that we all know that are synonymous with Tory Burch. However, I want to focus this video, y'all, on those pieces that tend to be a little bit more avant-garde, that are a little bit more of a risk. I am so excited for this raffia. So excited. We talked about raffia in my summer trends video. 
What excites me is not just that they are in raffia because I love a good texture, I do. But what excites me is that they are in raffia and they are black. When was the last time you saw black raffia, right? And if you are someone that wants to wear a sensible heel to work, if you want to go out with bae, you want to go out for date night and you're not trying to put on a stiletto, but you still want to give the girls a look, be chic, be put together, I feel like this is the style shoe with this heel height. That is so comfortable and it's absolutely amazing. I'm impressed with these and the price point is $378. I'm heading into my sneaker era. I am. I'm heading into my sneaker era and what I'm looking for is for sneakers that are unique and that have a different silhouette or something about them that makes them kind of quirky and fun. So for example, I just got a pair of Nike blazers. They have a gum sole, right? And the color is kind of like this kind of nudie pink. Different, different. Along that vein, take a look at these Tory Burch sneakers. See, and when y'all started watching this video, y'all thought I was casting. Y'all didn't think I was being serious. If you've seen a shoe like this, let me know. Because I will happily stand corrected. But this woman told them people, she said, make me a leather woven sneaker. And it's like in a classic trainer style. So it's a true dressy sneaker. My only beef is that it does not come in more colors. It comes currently in ivory. Um, I would love to have seen this in like a really delicious orange or a really, ooh, like a really good mustard yellow. This is a good one. And instead of doing the logo in gold, the logo is in leather and it's the same color leather as the shoes. The shoelaces are in that same color as well. Again, I really, really hope she comes out with this in more colors because it is a hit. Now we're gonna wrap shoes up in just a moment, but look at this pierced flat. What even is this? So if you, if you have flat feet, maybe you don't need these, or if you do have flat feet, maybe they work, I don't know, but there's no arch support, okay? But the fact that the shoe kind of has this hollowness in the middle, and it has that circular part for your heel, is so dope to me and then it has this kind of pierce effect here i think these come in two colors red is not a color that i wear but i would truly give that a second thought for these shoes i did not see these once again in the store so i don't know how they fit i don't know how comfortable they are but they are an interesting shoe we're back to tori kind of producing those avant-garde pieces that feel like works of art so if we're not doing Reba Flats, then someone might ask, what shoe from Tori would you recommend for work? And I would say you can't go wrong with her loafers. I really love them all. Some of the more kind of style forward ones are this pair. Uh, it is a backless loafer, so it fits like a mule, has a very slight heel, very, very pointed. <laughs> in the front, okay. It has a small Tory logo. Uh, it comes in black, it comes in white, but you know what I actually like? I mean, if you were that person that wants to wear a pop of color to the office, then what about these blue ones? They're kind of turquoise slash baby blue. I think those are so, so fun. And if you were someone who possibly wears a lot of grays, a lot of navy blues or even greens to work, this color would be really fun. I will mention one pair of shoes and then we can transition. But the Marquitri block heel, I don't even know how to describe them. It's almost like a peep toe, but it's a mule, but then there's a heel and it's a sling back. And the heel has these competing like building blocks on it. It's delicious. It comes in several colors. Y'all know for me, the black and white is a good one. This is the kind of shoe that I would love to transition into fall with. Before you need a boot, or maybe you live in a climate where you don't quite need boots, I would love to see this with a pair of cargos that tie around the ankle and kind of have a balloon feel to them. Very relaxed. A cute tank. Throw a blazer over your shoulders. Give them the heat with a clutch bag. Girl. Tori. You've done it with the shoes. It is an outstanding job. We are here for it. Let's transition to another category. 
Now, I will not go to rain and wear because quite honestly, I feel like that is an area, at least from what I see, that has not quite caught up with shoes and some of the handbags. Hopefully it will very soon, depending on how this kind of new style aesthetic goes. Um, but the handbags are also impressive as far as new designs. One of them is this raffia kind of crescent bag. The texture on it, I think is super interesting. I also just kind of like this crescent moon type shape bag the way they had something similar especially as we have the rise of the shoulder bag once again i feel like this is something that for summer for travel for example if you're wearing all white and you need a pop of color specifically in the orange it would be so good it also comes in black and white and as we talk about prices once again there aren't very many if any tory birch handbags that are over like a 1500 dollars price point so when i say affordable luxury that's that's no shade that's all tea like that's real deal you can get some great pieces at more affordable price points like this bag okay now remember those green woven shoes that had the curved gold heel hopefully y'all put those in your back pocket because what you're gonna need to go along with them is this Kira bag The leather looks like it is so buttery soft and it's the green and it's woven with the white. And then we have what appears to be like a chain link. I don't know if it's leather or if it's acrylic, but that chain link shoulder strap. And we have a longer strap as well so we can wear it on our shoulders. We can have it cross body if we need it. And I just feel if you're coming in the institution with this bag on and these shoes, what nobody better look you in your eyes you're like mariah carey no nobody look me in my eyes my writer says i better have all pink gummy bears two skittles in a jar as i sit down there needs to be a pillow in my seat okay because my i can't even touch as a matter of fact bring me a new chair bring me an alabama slim <laughs> You get real specific about the details that better be ready, present, and accounted for upon your arrival when you step it out with this. Girl, if anybody's watching and you a first lady of a church or the head of the deaconess board, I dare you. First Sunday, I dare you. I'm here for the stunt. Just know that. If you ever need a tip on how to be petty and to show up and show out, turn this channel on. Because I'm going to gas you. I'm going to gas you 93 octane. Do it, sis. Leave no survivors. It's complete annihilation. Um, and that's what that small Kira is giving with those green shoes. Trust me. The Eleanor bag is one that I probably would not have brought up because it is a traditional silhouette. It's great, by the way. I actually mentioned this bag in my ebook, um, How to Declutter Your Wardrobe and Curate a Style You Love, because I think if you're looking for a classic handbag, this bag in neutral colors is amazing. However, it does have a new silhouette. And just as Dior now has a Lady Dior in more of a rectangular shape, they have now the Eleanor in a rectangular shape as well. I think it's new. I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. The last bag I will mention is the Lee Ratsy Wheel. Not sure how to pronounce that one. Um, but this is a bag for the girls who love the Fendi Peekaboo um, because in my opinion it does something a little bit more interesting. Instead of having the Peekaboo, right, those kind of like competing flaps where you can see the middle of the bag from the front, this has three flaps. I don't know how they constructed it. But it's amazing and it comes in different colorways as well as different sizes. Not surprisingly, given how much leather is used to create this bag, it is on the higher end of the price points for Tory. But if you wanted something that felt kind of like a, a more classic silhouette that has a top handle and that you likely would get a lot of wear out of, but it's still very interesting. And again, if you like the Fendi Peekaboo, but you don't want to jump out there, I think right now the medium size of a Peekaboo is at least $3,000. This would be a great alternative. I love it in all the colors, but this one in kind of like primary shades is delicious. 
and that is it good people i really hope you have enjoyed today's video i told you it would be a quick one it really is all about sharing with you some of my favorite tory birch pieces the pieces that i was surprised to see that the brand has you all will likely see a lot more tory around here because i am impressed with both the price point the materials and the designs it's three things not two so with all three of those things, all right? In the meantime, I hope you have enjoyed the video and that you love it around these parts. We have a good time. Subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you back, and I will see you good people across the internet. Peace.